Hello, my name is Jay and welcome back to my Tech Vault. Today we're going to talk about DDR5, the type of RAM that we're expecting to see over the next couple of years. And there's been a couple of questions lately brought up on this channel about like when should we expect to see it? You know, what will it be? What version of processors will be coming in? Will we be expecting to see any of it supporting the newer version processors? Uh, will there be like AMD Ryzen processors supporting it? Uh, next generation? A lot of people have been asking like will the next generation support the DDR5? A lot of different questions. And what I want to do today is answer those, not only answer those, but also talk a little bit about like when, what some of the companies have said about DDR5 and some other things that they've said that implies and basically implies that they are not going to be supporting DDR5 until a certain date. So most notably, I'm going to start off with AMD. Why? Well, AMD said a little statement a while back where they said, we are going to keep the AM4 socket until 2020. Actually, through 2020 is the direct quote. And now if you think about this, that means, okay, they're going to keep the same socket. What you don't think about is that motherboards, like the X370 motherboard that I have back here that I have my Ryzen 1800X on, that motherboard will be supported and will be able to still get the newest processors until 2020, or through 2020. So we'll just say 2021 is when they'll be expiring and we'll get something different. Now, I will say though that at 2020, um, all the way up into there, that means that all the RAM slots, the uh, VRMs, all the things on that motherboard still need to be able to support the newest processors, which means anything up until 2020 or through 2020 will still be running DDR4 because we'll not be getting any different RAM sticks. The RAM sticks should still be supported, therefore, since the socket is supported. So that pretty much means that up until 2020 or through 2020, we have guaranteed support and mainstream of the DDR4, which means we're not gonna be seeing DDR5 until after that at some point. So another thing to keep in mind as well, is some more reinsurance for this, is the fact that uh, Micron, I believe Micron, uh, has the 5200 megahertz RAM running. They've actually had an official module released. No, it's S SK Hynix, sorry, SK Hynix. Um, did the, has an official module of DDR5 running in a lab that they've actually been able to test. So. If you're not unfamiliar with what actually has to go in in order for that to be supported, not only does the motherboard manufacturers have to have something developed uh, that supports it, the motherboards have to have all the memory controllers and things set up for that. You also need the processors to support that. There's a lot of things that have to go into that. And also, processors will have to come out with specific support for that. While some do, like there are some companies that do have, uh, or some processors that do support different versions, like a DDR3 and, or some, like, I know there's some Intel processors that support some DDR3 and some DDR4. There are some, like, depending on the motherboard. I would expect to see that perhaps um, maybe at the end of the t AMD Ryzen or a end of 20 uh, to 2021. I would expect to see that. Now why I'm not talking about Intel too much is because Intel really hasn't said much about when they're stop, stopping support of the CPU sockets. And obviously, since this is Intel in the past, uh, actually this is the first time we've really seen the same socket for multiple generations from AMD and then Intel is shortly following, I wouldn't be surprised to see somewhere around 20, uh, 2021 to 2022, maybe to the, the couple th years afterwards when we start to see the phase in of DDR5. Um, now, mostly at the time of this video, a lot of the processors, uh, a lot of the motherboards especially, don't even officially support um, the memory speeds uh, of above like 3000 because it's technically overclocking. And so, there's technically, they're not officially support either. I would expect to see a couple more processors supporting, officially supporting higher clocks or higher frequencies in the RAM, and then eventually getting our way up to DDR5 when we would expect to see that officially in mainstream processors. Now, obviously, it's going to be interesting to see when we get these processors, what it's actually going to be like when we see this in systems, how they're going to implement it. So, for example, I would be, wouldn't be surprised to see something like some processors come out, maybe a first couple of generations that have some DDR3, or not DDR3, DDR4 and DDR5 support, and you would be able to, depending on the motherboard, be able to get either one. But I wouldn't be, and I would also expect this to start off maybe in the, in the server industry, because the server industry has a little bit more money to put into this expensive hardware, as where the consumers who are buying stuff don't really have the uh, ability and the funds especially when this is new temper uh, new soft or hardware that's coming out we really want to make sure i guess they'll make sure that it's um that it's tested thoroughly on the server side that the server side users get to test it like the server clients it's tested it, they, they've worked out the bugs and then of course they'll make it a little bit cheaper with more r d and eventually will come down to a level that's reachable by the average consumer at that point i would expect to see whole new motherboards whole new sockets 
even if Intel continues at the time this video only has two generations of sockets uh, on the same socket, AMD has two as well, but they'll be having a three that we've confirmed and would expect a couple more generations to afterwards. Basically, we've got a good bit of time that we're currently going to be on the socket. So eventually at the end of the socket, around 2021 20, to onwards, maybe three years, I'd expect to see an official lineup. Now, what really doesn't make sense is that AMD would have a short socket, especially like maybe have the th three or four years that we've had AM4, have like AM5 for maybe two years, and then have like the AM6 supporting the D DDR5 uh, while DDR3 or the AM4 socket, AM5 socket, sorry, a lot of numbers here. The AM5 socket supports uh, maybe the next generation of processors. I don't see that happening. I don't see like this in between. Uh, I think that it would be too much work. I think it would just be great. I'm expecting to see something after 2020, um, 2021, to actually see official DDR5 support in the processors with the new socket. And so I think that's what they're planning. Now, I don't know the reason why they said they're supporting up to or they're going to be supporting through 2020 is because simply at the time of this video, we're not too sure on where the DDR5 production is actually coming along. Excuse me. And so they're not too sure if they can meet that deadline. So I'd expect to see something depend that, that kind of frame or that time zone kind of shifting a little bit. And that's why they haven't like said, hey, we're stopping production, but they're just not sure. And I think whenever we get the DDR5 a little bit cheaper, uh, and it kind of is on, out on the server market for a bit, we really would see it trickle down to the consumer. And then we'd also get some available for the desktop market. But thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Uh, check my channel for other cool tech related news, videos, leaks, discussions, um, informationals, computer builds, reviews, yeah, most of that stuff. Um, but thank you very much for watching.